Hi everybody, this is Millie. Welcome to Millie's Meal Planning on a Budget. You know, a couple of days ago, I made pizza. And uh, I have some leftover pizza dough. So what I did is I wrapped it in, the, uh, in this plastic and I put it in the refrigerator. Now, whenever you're ready to use uh, pizza dough that you have put in the refrigerator, it's always good to take it out and uh, bring it to room temperature. What I want to make with this is Italian is called a stromboli, and um, but it's actually stuffed bread. When it comes to room temperature, I'm going to make the stuffing. So the stuffing is going to consist of Jimmy Dean sausage. What I did, I went to Costco, and I don't know if you have ever seen those big sausages that um, Costco sells. And I never use the whole thing. So what I do is when I bring it home, I cut it in half and then I cut each half in half. So once I cut it, I put it in a freezer bag uh, and then I put it in the freezer if I'm not gonna use it within a day or so. But in this case, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use some of it. So I'm going to take this one out and then I'm going to keep this in the bag to make sure that it is completely sealed. This way I could take it as I needed. You could just slice it and serve it for breakfast or you could make spaghetti sauce. Um, so you could use it in many recipes. Okay, so now here I have a pan. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the sausage out of the plastic. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate it. And then I'm going to put a little bit of Italian seasoning. Now, Jimmy Dean sausage is uh, flavored very nicely, but I want to give it some more flavor. And this is mild. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm also going to add a little bit of oregano. Also going to grind some black pepper. And because I like it a little spicy, I'm going to put a little bit red pepper flakes. And then I'm going to mix it. So here I have a pan and I'm going to put a little bit of oil. Not too much. I'm going to mix this really well. I'm going to turn it on low. So here I have a small ice cream scooper. It's a very small size. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna use this to make small meatballs. Now I'm not gonna let the oil get too hot because I'm going to be making the meatballs and I'm gonna drop them in as I go. It's not hot, but I don't want some of the, the first meatballs to start cooking too fast. I'm gonna continue making the meatballs. I don't know if you can hear it, but the oil is getting hot. Because I'm using the scooper, they're going to be the same size or close to the same size, <laughs> let's say. Okay, I'm trying not to get my hands dirty. I lower this a little bit more because the meatballs aren't cooked yet. I'm gonna shape them a little bit better with a spatula. So I have the stove on low because I don't want the uh, meatballs to burn. So you see, they're cooking very nicely. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna turn them very slowly. Now I don't have to worry about the meatballs being completely cooked because I'm going to stuff them in, in that pizza dough bread now, if I was going to use the meatballs as an appetizer, I would have shaped them a little bit better with my hands. But because I'm going to stuff them in the bread, it doesn't matter. So that's the reason why I didn't take the time to shape them a little bit better. <laughs> this actually smells delicious. So the meatballs are looking very good. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take them out. and I'm going to put them aside. I don't want those flavors to go to waste. So what I want to do is I'm gonna use this uh, marinara sauce and I'm going to put the sauce in here. 
Okay, I'm gonna lower the heat a little bit more. Now the sauce is gonna get all the flavors that were in the meatballs. And this is going to taste so amazing. I want to add a little bit of heat. So I'm gonna add a little bit more of this red pepper flakes. And I'm not gonna put any more flavors to the sauce because this is tomato and basil. It has a little bit of garlic. I'm going to cover it and I'm going to let it cook. So let me check the sauce. So the sauce looks very good and it's already done. I'm going to turn it off and let it cool off because I want to make sure that it's cool when I put it on the dough. So here's the dough and it's already at room temperature. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll it out. Here I have a little bit of flour. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flour the board. And then I'm going to roll out the dough. Now, if you remember last time when I made the dough, when I made the pizza, the dough was a little bit thinner. And um, this one is a little bit thicker. And the reason for that is because I added more flour because I was thinking of making this bread. And whenever you're making bread, it needs to be a little bit firmer. So if you remember when I made the, um, the pizza, the dough wasn't quite as firm because I wanted, um, I wanted to make sure that it was easy to spread out on the pan, but you don't have to make it like that. You know, you could make it a little bit firmer, which is usually what a lot of uh, pizza places do. But um, a lot of Italians, you know, when we went to Italy, that's the way they make it. They make it um, very, they don't make it quite as firm and then it's easier for them to spread it out when they're uh, making the pizza. So now I'm going to spread the dough. So I need to work it. And you want to make sure that it doesn't have too much flour. I love to make bread and I love to make pizza. And the good thing about it is that you could save it and make it whenever you want to. You just have to make sure that you keep it in the refrigerator wrapped in plastic. Right now with the football playoffs, you know, we try to make things easier. So let's not complicate our lives. Let's make things that are easy to make and you could save it. You know, like for example, when I made the dough, I was able to save the dough and I'm able to use it in several different things, uh, tasty things, things that my family loves. And uh, actually, you know, this is something fun. You know, if you have kids, you could have them do this for you. And kids love to play with food. So let's give them something to play with. And you can make this as big as you want. So this is a cookie sheet. And what I'm going to do to the cookie sheet is I'm going to add a little bit of cornmeal. This is not a nonstick. I'm gonna put it aside for now. I'm going to add a little bit of salt, not too much. And I'm also going to add a little bit of Parmigiano Reggiano. So I'm gonna grate some Parmigiano Reggiano on top. And now I'm going to add some of this sauce, not too much. Add a little bit more Parmigiano Reggiano. And now I'm going to add a little bit of mozzarella cheese. It has to be cheesy, just like if you were making pizza. <laughs> and now I'm going to add the meatballs. Okay, so I wanna make sure that it has a lot of meat. And now I have to add a little bit more sauce. You know, if you want to, you can add vegetables to this. You could slice uh, peppers, red peppers, yellow peppers, or uh, spinach. You could add spinach to it. I have done it with that. I have done it with spinach. I'm going to seal this. I'm gonna seal it, seal one side, and I'm going to seal the other side the same way. 
and you want to make sure that you seal this because you don't want the sauce or the cheese to wooze out. <laughs> you want to make sure that the sauce and the cheese stays in. Okay. And sometimes it does uh, wooze out a little bit. So now here I have my cookie sheet. And then very carefully, I'm going to move this. Move that very carefully to the cookie sheet. Here that I move what was the top, I put it on the bottom. So now I'm gonna cover it because I wanna make sure that this rises a little bit. So I'm gonna cover it for about 10 minutes and I'm going to put it aside. Okay, so the bread has been resting for a few minutes. And now what I'm going to do is here, I have one egg. To the egg, I'm gonna add a little bit of salt. You know, flavor as you go. So now, so what I'm doing here is I'm creating an egg wash. I'm going to spread this egg wash on the bread. So it gets nice and shiny and it gets nice and crispy on top. So now I'm gonna put it in the oven and we'll come back and show you how it looks like. Okay, so the bread is cooled down and I had it, I cooked it in the oven at 400 degrees for about 30, 35 minutes. Now every oven is different, so you have to check your oven to see, make sure that the same temperature will work with your oven. So now here I have the uh, bread, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide to the cutting board. To cut it. The cheese and the sauce did goose out a little bit but it doesn't matter because it's gonna taste so good and even when you go to restaurants that happens you know with professionals. So here I have a serving board. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to slice it you see how good that looks? Mm, that's gonna be amazing. So I'm gonna make sure I slice it. <laughs> and you see the meatballs and the cheese? Mmm, <laughs> that's gonna taste amazing. Okay. And you could cut it as big or as little as you want, you know, depending on how many people you have over. Okay, so you serve it in the cutting board. So then and to serve it with this, I have the leftover sauce. Sauce, I have the sauce that I used to put in the bread. Okay. There you have it, stuffed bread with sausage meatballs and marinara sauce. So now we have to taste it. So I'm gonna have, okay, so here is a small piece. A piece of the bread, the stuffed bread, with sauce on the side or on top if you want to. Okay, so let's taste it. Mm. Oh my God. This is so good. And to serve with this, we like to put these beer mugs in the freezer. And then you serve the beer. And to this, I'm gonna add a slice of orange. This is so easy and inexpensive. Try it. I know if you try it, your family is going to love it. But this is easy, inexpensive and you could feed a lot of people with this. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.